Hello everyone and welcome to Instant Biology by Dr. Neelab. So the topic that we are going to deal today is variations of restriction enzymes. Okay. And you might be knowing that the variations are basically isoschizomers, neoschizomers and isocodamers. So this is the topic that we would be uh, focusing on today. What are these isoschizomers, neoschizomers and isocodamers? We would be dealing with the important points of all of these topics plus we would also consider some of the examples related to this topic. In addition to this, uh, I would like to tell you brief upon what is this and in which playlist this would be coming. So as you would be knowing that we already have started the RDT playlist. So this would be an addition to the RDT playlist only. Okay. So once you have seen the previous videos, you would be able to understand this video much more easily. So without much ado, let us start what is isoschizomer, neoschizomers and isocodamers. So if you uh, let us first of all understand this with the help of breaking the isoschizomers into its two components. So if you see on your screen, this is the term isoschizomers, right? Now if I break this term isoschizomer into two equal parts, then you would understand this that isos and schizen, these are the two components or constituent of this word. Isos means equal, okay? So isos means equal and schizen means splitting. That means when we are talking about splitting equally then we are referring to isoschizomers. Now let us understand this in much more simpler terms. Okay, What are isoschizomers? So isoschizomers are such enzymes that recognize the same restriction site and also cleave identically. So what is written over here you can see if you can see that the the uh, isoschizomers are such enzymes that recognize the same restriction site what does rs mean over here rs i have abbreviated for restriction site so let me just add over here also rs means restriction site so when two or more enzymes if they are recognizing the same restriction site the same restriction site and also they are cleaving identically they are cleaving identically in the same way then such enzymes are called as isoschizomers now let us consider an example now if you see these two enzymes sph1 and bbu1 these are two restriction enzymes you would be knowing about these these are two restriction enzymes now each restriction enzyme has a a restriction site on which it cuts okay now you can see that these are the restriction sites this is the restriction site for sph1 and this is the restriction site let me just uh, underline it with a different color so this is the restriction site for bbu1 now if you focus on both of these restriction sites you would identify that both of these restriction sites are the same so cg if i just uh, point it out cg ta cg over here cg ta cg over here and on the reverse sequence cg ta cg over here cg ta cg over here that means the restriction sites for sph1 and bbu1 are identical okay so the first condition is first fulfilled recognize the same restriction site we said so the restriction site is the same now let us see that whether they are cutting identically or not so the cut that is made by sph1 is over here between c and g on the top sequence and again between c and g on the bottom sequence in the bbu1 case again the restriction digestion or the cutting or the cleaving takes place between c and g on the top sequence and between c and g on the bottom sequence that means both the conditions are fulfilled that means recognizing the same restriction site as well as cleaving identically both rest both the conditions are fulfilled that means sph1 and bbu1 both of these are isoschizomers 
both of these are isoschizomers okay so this you would have understood and you would have related to this uh, with the help of example also now what i want to state is i want to give you some other important features of isoschizomers now if we form or if we cut a sequence if i have a long sequence and i cut it with isoschizomer enzymes then what would i be getting i would be getting the same results that means if i cut by sph1 if, if this is a long sequence that i am having if i cut it by sph1 and if i get cut it by bbu1 the results that i would be getting would be identical would be the same results because the same restriction sites are identified and it is cut in the same way also so i would be getting the same results if i uh, do a uh, electrophoresis or gel banding pattern okay if i cut it and uh, i run a gel i would be getting the same results next now because the cleavage is done in an identical way that is the uh, end terminals or after the cleavage the terminals that we get would be identical that is why the fragments that have been cut can easily be ligated with one another okay so if i suppose uh, if i if i try to explain this if i cut a fragment by sph1 and if i cut a fragment by bbu1 the terminals that have been obtained after cutting would be identical because of the isoschizomer nature of the enzymes and if they are identical they can easily be added they can easily be ligated because of the uh, same type of terminal i believe you would have understood this so this was the concept of isoschizomers now let us focus on the next term that is neoschizomers let us focus on the next term that is neo neoschizomers okay now what do you understand by neoschizomers now neoschizomers are obtained from different sources that is for sure that means one neo one enzyme would be obtained from one bacteria other enzyme would be obtained from the other bacteria that is for sure that is why i have mentioned that they are obtained from different sources next point is they recognize the same target that means the recognition site or the restriction site would be same but the cleavage would be differently but the cleavage would be differently now let us understand this with the help of an example now this is the restriction site for the first enzyme tai1 and this is the restriction site for the other enzyme that is mae2 these are the two restriction enzymes that we are looking at if you focus on these two restriction sites you can see acgt the first sequence is identical to the first sequence in this case acgt and over here also if you see acgt this is the second sequence acgt this is the second sequence that means the restriction sites are identical okay that is why i have mentioned that they recognize the same target same restriction site is identified by target i mean restriction site by target i mean restriction site okay but they are cleaved differently now what does this mean when i say cleaved differently i mean that over here you can see this is the arrow that means in case of tai1 it is cleaving just before the a and over here just after the a that means it is cleaving just in on the top sequence it is cleaving just before the a on the bottom sequence it is cleaving just after the a but in case of mae2 you can see that it is cleaving between a and c over here in the top sequence and the bottom sequence also it is cleaving between a and c that means the restriction site is the same but the cleavage pattern is different okay now what is the other important point for uh, neoschizomers the other important point is that they are also called as heteroschizomers heteroschizomers okay now let's come to the next point now just like we had studied in the isoschizomers that when we cut any sequence by this uh, isoschizomer we would be getting identical uh, results 
in the same way if you cut it by neo schizomers distinct gel pattern would be obtained but they would be giving you similar results not identical they would be getting giving you similar results because approximation or approximately same type of cut would be obtained because as you can see in this case if you take the example the cut would be between the cut would be just before a and over here the cut is just after a so this much is the only difference so you can say that the results would be similar not identical why not identical because because i've just told you the ends of the fragments are different ends of the fragment are different uh, different that is why you would be getting similar results similar results okay so this was about neo schizomers now let us focus on the next term that is isochordomers isochordomers now what do you understand by isochordomers they recognize different target sequences now as i've already said if i write target sequences you can consider that as restriction sites okay that means they are identifying different restriction sites but after cleavage the same termini are produced what does this mean that although they are identifying although they are identifying different restriction sites different restriction sites are identified yet after cleavage once the cleavage happens they give rise to the same termini okay i will show you this with the help of an example also let us see over here in this case in the first case of bam h1 you can see that nn means any nucleotide and after nn there is a g and over here there is a g a t c c and again after that nn okay that means before cleavage it would have been one sequence and in the bottom one you can see g a t c c n n and over here g n n now if you compare it with the b g l 2 enzyme you can see that n n is present and after that a is present and over here g a t c t n n is present in the below sequence a n n and n n t c t a g is present now if you compare both of these sequences if you compare both of these sequences you would identify that both these target sites or both these uh, uh, yes restriction sites are different in the first restriction site you can see n n g but over here you can see n n a and over here g a t c c is present g a t c c is present but over here you can see g a t c is only present that means both the restriction sites are different the restriction site for bam h1 is different from bgl2 yet yet what i want to say is when you cut a, a sequence with bam h1 or bgl2 what you would be getting you would be getting same type of terminals same type of terminals what do i mean by same types of terminals you can see that this is the lower sequence you can get c t a g c t a g okay and in in this you can see that g a t c is present now even though even though they are different even though the restriction site is different but you can see this is gatc and this is also gatc okay and over here you can see ctag here also ctag is present okay only the difference is between a okay that means cleavage leads to the same termini the same termini is being produced gatc over here also and gatc over here also gatc over here also gatc over here also gatc over here also ctag over here also ctag over here also this is what i wanted to show you same termini are being produced now if i uh, compare it with south 3a also you can see the same termini are being produced g a t c over here also c t a g over here also the in all of these three enzymes you can see that same termini are being produced even though the restriction sites are different 
this is what we mean by isocodomers now the same concept that we used for the isoschizomers that means the ends would be compatible because you are cutting in a way uh, because of the uh, property of the isocodomers that they produce same type of termini that means these termini would be compatible if you cut a sequence by bam h1 and bgl2 the results that you would be getting the termini that you would be getting would be compatible with each other if they are compatible mind you if they are compatible they can be ligated with ease they can be easily ligated now if i um, for your ease for your easy understanding if i divide isocodomers isos means equal coda means tail tail means termini okay when the termini are the same then the enzymes that produce such kind of results are called as isocodomers isocodomers okay I believe the variations of restriction enzymes topic would be clear to you. You would have a clear understanding about neoschizomers, isoschizomers and isocodomers. Some questions in different life science examinations are asked in which you have to identify. Uh, they give a question in which they give a, a cleavage pattern and with that you have to identify whether it is a isocodomer, isoschizomer or neoschizomer. I believe you would have understood this if you like the video just hit the like button subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get any update that is uh, provided by us thank you so much and have a good day